Welcome back to Kimchi Robotics. It's been a long time and I apologize. I know you want more videos and I need to give you more videos. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you more videos. So chill out, calm down. I've been really busy growing my hair out. Can't you see how long it's gotten? It gets in the way when I do all kinds of stuff like brush my teeth, eat food, breathe. I don't know. Should I pull it back Steven Seagal style or should I just shave it off? I haven't decided yet. I don't really need to. I mean, I'm stuck here in paradise and I have limited tools and I need to get out of here. So I've been talking with Jif here and he's giving me the silent treatment. He's being a real dick. You suck. Anyway, today's video is going to be really quick and simple. And it's something that you could do if you have a soldering iron. Recently, I had a gaming mouse that I've been using for about a year, year and a half. And it finally started to crap out. The zoom in button on the right side started to stick. If you try to zoom in on any kind of game, it'll zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. In a game like PUBG, where you got to soft zoom sometimes to get the drop on somebody, especially all those hackers, you don't get it. You don't get that soft zoom. And that uh, decides uh, whether you smash your keyboard or not. But I don't smash keyboards. I respect mine. The beauty that it is. It's $9. And it's precious. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to replace the broken switch. It's basically a push button switch. And there's all kinds of different ones. So you need to kind of look, at, look up and Google what switch you need for your mouse. If you're going to go ahead and do this. Taking apart the mouse is fairly simple and soldering, desoldering is probably the only challenge that you're gonna have because that'll determine whether you break, you know, burn the board that's on the mouse and have to fork out another $30 or more uh, for your mouse. And it's interesting that a lot of these mouses have this problem, so go figure. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the fix. First, check out my new silicone mat. It prevents things from moving around and it's also solder and heat resistant. It's got places to put your screws and other small components. There's a magnetic strip on the back so you can hang it on your mom's refrigerator. You can even roll it up and store it in a bag or a drawer. I link this one in the description. The materials you need to fix your mouse are flux to help your solder job, a desolder pump, Q-tips, solder, and your broken mouse which has screws under the plastic covers here. You can pull the covers up by prying them off with a flathead screwdriver. You will damage them a little. It is unavoidable. Make sure to unplug your mouse from the computer. My mouse had four screws that needed to be removed and I just left the plastic strips hanging like this. You can barely see it, but my mouse is a Logitech 300S. It should be written on the back of yours. Once I opened it up, I checked for any mechanical damage to the plastic shell and button covers. Again, make sure you unplug your mouse from your PC. And then unplug this power cable here by pulling it up and then inserting a flathead screwdriver and twisting it to pop it off like magic right here. Now you need to look for the screws holding it in place. Sometimes they hide from you, so make sure to double check. Next, I inspected the board for any possible cracks or water damage. Looks pretty good to me. So here's the actual switch that needs to be replaced. Notice there are three legs soldered to the board here. Look at the part number which should be labeled. Look for a similar part online. You can also see the manufacturer brand on the top here. Amaran, whatever, they're all made in China. I found this exact switch on Amazon for just a few dolores. 
You'll have to order a bag at a time, but that's okay because you can use these for other projects. Just a little quality check to make sure it's good. Yep, it's clicky and not sticky. Looks like an exact match. Now for the tricky part. I put flux on the board and pins to prevent the board from burning and to help flow my solder nicely. If you burn your board, that's okay. Soldering takes practice and you can just buy another mouse. I turned on my iron to 630 degrees Fahrenheit and proceeded to melt the solder and suck it up with the desolder pump. You don't want your iron touching the soldering pad and pin for too long. You can melt the internals of something on the board or on the switch that you're replacing itself. You want to get in and get out. I needed to do it one more time and it came off perfectly. I positioned my new switch and put something under it to make it flatter on the board. Then I took the gold metal like a champ. You can use Q-tips and alcohol to clean off the flux. Make sure no cotton strands are left on the board or it might short circuit something. Put all your screws back on the thing. Plug in the power cable. Put on the case. And plug in the USB. Clickety clackety. Time to game happily. Woo! So, did it make a difference?
Wu Jing, ah. <laughs> what was that? I don't understand anything about this game.